My name is Rajni Eddins, and I am the Director and Minister of Cultural Empowerment of the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance and the Richard Kemp Center. And we are commencing this evening's event, Our Story, Our Power, a fundraiser and a black artist showcase to take black youth and black families, families to witness their heritage and history at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Let's make a lot of noise for that. As Marcus Garvey has said, a people without knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. You can make some noise for that. That's all right. Don't let that man be alone. Somebody say, back to your roots. Say, back to your source. That's right. That's right. We're going to be well flourishing and furnishing that knowledge and that history, that crucial base that honors our people to grow and prosper and see the beauty and brilliance of the people that we come from and how, and how powerful our role is and how many people know how important that is. How many people know how important it is to see yourself reflected and to have opportunities to learn about your story through people who reflect you and who actually care for you and are invested in who you are and who you are becoming. We don't always have that opportunity, so it's very important that we not take this moment for granted. I want to um, get this whole thing started with a beautiful um, video that shows a, a number of the youth we will witness tonight expressing in heartfelt ways why it's so important and valuable to attend this trip. So I hope you enjoy this and with no further ado, please hold tight.
My name is Andrea. And Andrea, why are you excited to travel to the National Museum of African American Heritage and Culture? I am excited so I can learn about my history and about my family. I'm also excited because I want to learn more about people that were on the ground before me, black people that were on the ground before me, because that didn't get much acknowledgement for the work that they Make some noise one more time. Come on, give it up for those brothers and sisters. Some say knowledge, knowledge. Is, power. is power. Say history, history. Is, power. is power. That's right, that's right. I want to welcome up a, a very special brother to share a few words with us before we get into the active piece of the Black Artist Showcase in here some more of these fabulous artists bless us with their words. Uh, please give a warm round of applause for the director of the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance. Give it up for brother Mark Hughes. Hey! hey. What's up, y'all? That video made me cry a little bit. Did that video touch you? Man, is she in here? Where you at? What's her name? Drea? Yeah, yeah, making all that noise. You're outside, girls. So give it up to her. Give it up. Give it up to her. Give her all of them. 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 You know what? It's, I, I'm, so happy. I'm so happy to be in, in here in the house with y'all because um, this, it's been a long week for me. And uh, before we get started, uh, first I want to just give you some housekeeping uh, tips, okay? How many people have been in this house before? Every, Y'all, everybody good? Everybody good? Nope. Got some people right here who ain't been in the house. 
bathroom right on the other side of this wall. Okay, so all you got to do is just go, you look really familiar. Bathroom on the, <laughs> on the other side of this wall here. Uh, who else? Uh, other thing is, is I, you know that this is not a smoking facility. If something goes down, which is probably unlikely that it will, just go out the same way you came in. You can also get out these doors right here. We're going to be in here a minute. Oh, it's only a few of us in here today, but you know what? There are a lot of us watching. There's a lot of us watching. I, I was just struggling to get us uh, streaming on Facebook. I haven't gotten there yet, uh, but, we, but we do have CCTV in the house. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Charlie Giannone up in here. That's my boy, that we, we kick it together all of the time. Um, and here's the thing is, is that with, um, with what we're doing here, uh, this is so incredibly important. This is, like, this is a crucial turning point in a lot of work that we're doing, and I'm gonna tell you why in just a minute. Uh, I'm gonna take my time because I, I've been told I have seven minutes. Um, so, um, so that means I'm gonna take 10, okay? I'm gonna take 10 minutes. Um, but there are some shout outs that I want to give to some folks in the house. First, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Main Street Landing, who let us in the house. They let us in the house. They let us. I don't know why they let us in here, but here we are. Uh, we're, in, we're, in Main, we're in Main Street Landing. Uh, this is great. These people are amazing, and they're supporting this work. Uh, so don't forget you know, to give those guys a shout out, even outside of this place. Remember that they're watching, that they're, they're looking at the work that we're doing and they're supporting us. They're not just sitting up here on a hill. They are doing the work. So give a shout out to them, okay? There's also, um, oh, stop it. There, there's also some, um, some other folks that are really, really, really important to me uh, that I wanna give out a shout out. First to the Lord God himself, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That may be offensive to you, but you know, um, keep it moving, honey. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. I also want to give a shout out to my lovely wife who's sitting back there with my granddaughter and her son, and I've got some other family who are in and around here. Give it up for Christine Hughes. How else would I be here? I didn't even know how to put my shoes on this morning. Okay, so um, there, is, um, there are some very special people in here, and I really, you know, all of y'all are special, don't get me wrong. But these are specialer people, okay? <laughs> Vincent Mitchell, sitting in the back here. Uh, he, he, is, he is our, uh, he's our program manager at the Richard Kemp Center. He's also youth services. Vincent! <laughs> Love you, man. Love you. Christine, Christine, I'm gonna come back to you because that is the director of the, of the Richard Kemp Center, okay? Just, just, uh, just I'll let y'all know. You can clap for her again, it's okay. <clears throat> Um, is, um, is, is Isaac Owuso in the house? I don't see him. Isaac Owuso is missing and duly noted. Okay, but he is, he, is our, he is our director of community engagement and support. You could clap for him anyway. And you've already met Rajni. Uh, Rajni, we, we call him the Minister of Cultural Empowerment. Okay, so give it up for Rajni again, okay? Minister of Cultural Empowerment. I, I, have a, I just have a quick note for you before I, I get going is, is dinner in a movie. Did you get that, that the thing? It's a dinner in a movie. So what we decided to do is just, uh, uh, pull back on a lot of the programming and hit the reset button and just start to, to be able to st really start looking more at quality at what we're doing, uh, really. And, and so what we decided to do is, is let's just come out soft. And we said, let's just get the community to come out. So this is March 23rd. This is next week uh, over at, it's on Thursday next week, over at the Richard Kemp Center. It's really cool. You just come in. It's at 6 o'clock. You eat. You bring your people with you. You eat. Uh, we got a movie. I'm not going to tell you which one it is uh, yet, but it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool I do know which one it is. You really want to know. I know you want to know, but I'm not going to tell you. Uh, which, which one it is, but so please come out, okay, because this is, this is an opportunity, this is not just about having dinner or about having, uh, watching a movie, it's really about us getting together. What we don't do enough of in a com in community because we always, oh, why I gotta be there? Who gonna be there? What are we gonna do? Uh, just come out and see us and, and hang out and let's, 
cultivate some relationships and get to know one another, okay? How, I mean, we, get to, we need to do more of that, right? Give yourself a hand, okay? So um, there's all kind of stuff starting to pop off. Chess Club, Black Artist Showcase, Black Artist Showcase, Black Artist Showcase, Black Artist Show, you can clap, Black Artist Show. Um, there, there's that, that, um, that black artist market. Jada is in the house. J I, 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 Omega Jada's in the house right there. She's, the, she's uh, just crushing that. And um, New Alpha Missionary Baptist Church is meeting over there. There's a men's group that Vincent is doing. Um, who's that, Jeff? Yeah, yeah hey. Um, just, so it's good when you see somebody walk in, you just know who they are. This, this, is, this is what we're trying to, to cultivate. So a lot of stuff going on. So here's the, here's the serious part. So um, the work of the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance, uh, you're going to see some, some, um, some noise coming out about the legislative agenda, and that's true. And we're, we're doing a lot of stuff um, here in, in Burlington as well. You'll, you, you, some of you know we, we already have a reparations task force in Burlington, and we're, we're doing that work. Some of you have heard of the, um, the work we're doing, the racism public health emergency, not just here across the, um, the county, but also there's a, a joint legislative uh, resolution that came out. But that's just policy work, Operation Phoenix Rise. But the community engagement and support stuff, what, what happened over the pandemic is, is we, we began to see, and listen, young folks, because this is about y'all too. This is really about the young folks, because we began to see that Systemic racism and the impact that it has on us, it's not just about, you know, this pie in the sky, uh, let's, you know, do some systemic work and create some policy change. Because every single day, every single day, what we have is, is we have huge impacts from housing disparities, from education disparities, from employment, economic development, health services access, transportation, all disparities insidiously, simultaneously, the outputs of these are affecting these little black kids, these little black children, and us black and brown folks, and some of us other mar folks who are on the, on the margins, even our white brothers and sisters. And what we're, what we're seeing is, is that that causes a lot of stress. And we, we saw that, that COVID laid that bear right in front of us. We saw it. We, and we also saw how the government can do its job and take care of its people when they want to. Did you see that? Did, we didn't have homeless people at that time. People were being cared for. But what we also saw is we saw these huge disparities presenting themselves in all of these systems. And we started to see more and more clearly the impact of systemic racism and how some are just not making ends meet as best as others. So systemic racism is a real thing. And we saw that more than ever. We've got all of the data. You go to our websites, data, 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 data. But we see the impact. So when we start talking about community engagement and support, this is the work we do on the ground. This is the work. This is where we find our people and we help them wherever they are. So whether it, ha whether it is our youth that are in here today or whether it is our mental wellness, because we know that there is a mental health crisis that's happening across. You thought you, thought you were just coming for good news, didn't you? So yeah, there's, a, there's a mental health crisis that's happening across the United States. And we know that some people are impacted more than others because they feel it first and worse and it lasts longer for them. That's why we're doing the work that we're doing. So the outreach and education, you know, part of the things that, 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 that we're, we're learning, we want you to know because we want each one to teach one. We want, we want our white brothers and sisters to go back into their homes, into their churches, into their families, and speak to that uncle that you usually don't talk to at Thanksgiving. That one that's rattling off all that, spewing all that stuff out, so we want you to do the work, which, by the way, is our legislative agenda um, mantra this year. Do the work this year as well. So th this is fun. This is great. This is a celebration because we're, we're going to have a blast. We're going to D.C. We're going to D.C. We're going. 
if, if you don't, if you're sitting here and you don't give a dime, we're still going to DC, I promise you that, okay? We need your money, but you know, we're, we're going. Um, and here's the thing, this is, this, this is awesome because it has never been done before. We're doing things, the Richard Kemp Center has never, Zoe, has never been done before. There's never been a black owned and operated uh, community center that, that, that's focusing on our wellness, our youth and our cultural empowerment in the city of Burlington. You can clap. So as I rock my shirt tonight, cause somebody told me to wear my gear and I saw I suited up. And if you don't got one, shame on you. Um, and as you guys settle in and, and just check out the, the, the talent and the passion of these youth, I also want you just to dig down into your heart and figure out ways, not just with your wallet, I like your wallet, you can do that, but I'm just saying, you know, figure out other ways that you can get engaged with us. Because we need you, we, we want you, we want you to, we, we feel your presence, I see everybody's here, people are smiling, it's been a long week, you're like, oh God, I wish you'd sit down. But, but, there's, but there, is, there is something going on in Burlington, I'm telling you, there is something happening amongst us right now. There, there, is, there is an energy happening. There, is some, there, is, there are some youth that are rising up. There are some programs and services that we're envisioning. There is nothing that we can't do together with these youth in Burlington. So buckle up. We're going to be around for a few minutes. I'm going to be back there messing around with that camera. Isaac Owusu, there he is right there. That's, my, that's our director of community engagement and support, Isaac Owusu. Late. <laughs> uh, I, just ask, I just ask you one favor. Uh, you, everybody has identified themselves. Uh, can you just, those who are on the team, on the, the, uh, the Alliance team, can you just raise your hand? So if, I don't care who you are in the room, don't, don't leave tonight without at least bumping into one of us and shaking us. Find a kid, hug a kid or something like that. Don't get crazy because, you, you know, don't hug them for a second sideways, okay? But, um, you know, but um, find one of us and um, drop a card, give a shout, give, give some contact information. Um, just let's cultivate those relationships. Let's do this together, okay? Thank you for coming out tonight. Have a great time. Show some love one more time for Brother Mark Hughes. It's a blessing. We want to keep that same positive energy as we enter the space. I want to welcome up a very special person in our community and in this planet who I've had the privilege to witness burgeoning their gifts and community. They were the recipient of the first place youth poetry competition award this past year. Give it up for that. They were also uh, a page at the state house and the legislation that they selected to have health, excuse me, daycare for and child care universally for youth earlier than kindergarten was selected as that to be chosen to put on the state house floors and give it up for that as well. Make a lot of noise for this person, make a dynamic change, only starting off their journey. Don't stop till they get here. Give it up for Nadia Frazier. Wow. Can you guys hear me? OK, cool. Um, I have four poems for you guys today three of which are old pieces but good pieces, and one of which is brand new. So, yeah. All right, let's start off um, strong with Let Me Be. Do you want me to paint my skin a shade lighter for you? Would you like me to use salt and pepper only on our food? How do you feel about my hair? Should I blow it out and damage my roots for you? Do I make you feel a certain way? Am I too white for you? Too black for you? Too mildly middle for you? 
Do I have too much history? Do I talk too much? Do I not speak up enough? Should I have said more, done more, done less? Would it be better if I just didn't exist? Would it be better if I took up as little space as possible? Take up none. Leave more air for you to breathe. Breathe. Can I breathe? Can I have some? Questions I don't ask because I worry what you'll say. Should I worry? Will you say what I pray you don't think about me? Me? What about me? Can I talk more, talk less? Can I sleep in? Do I have that luxury? Can I drink from that fountain? Talk to that person across the room? Do I have the freedom to exist beyond your living room? Beyond your kitchen? Beyond the trap of the mind and the imagination? Can I be more than just your shadow? Than that voice in your head? Will I ever be a person? Someone with a color and a smile and freckles and beauty marks? Can I be more than a two-dimensional shape on the pavement? Forget living your life. I don't want to be in your shadow. Let me live. Let me breathe. Let me be. Thank you. This next poem, well, actually, I'll give you a choice. Do you want to um, hear something called socks or something called raisins? Socks? Okie dokie, socks. <laughs> okay, so, um, socks. I never understood socks, or laundry, or homework, or shapes. You know, fractiles in specific, because they're just, they're never ending. Forever changing and moving like life itself. Life is strange too, constantly coming up with new ways to give you a scare, like hiccups. Always just suddenly there, and then not. Hiccup, surprise, you got a job. Hiccup, surprise again, you quit because your boss made you work overtime. Hiccup, surprise, your mom's in town. Hiccup, surprise, your wife's pregnant. Oh, fun, another 10 pairs of socks will lose in the washing machine. Why do socks get lost? Why not a shirt, or both socks at that? At that. It's always just one, separating itself from the other, much like our fractile. Always changing, shrinking in the wash, ripping in the dryer, and then somehow fading out into nothing? Why do we even wear socks? What is the point of wearing pants on your feet? To keep them warm? No, shoes can do that. Stylish? Maybe. But if they're so needed, why do they always disappear when thrown in for a wash? No one knows. Socks are confusing. And that's that. No questions asked. <laughs> Okay, um, this next one is called, She's Her Own Perfect. She always wondered why she was different, why her hair would curl into rings the color of coffee, why her eyes were the color of an oak tree spark rather than a pale blue, why her lips were a full shape of Cupid's bow. She's got skin the color of caramel and a heart made of gold, and she's seen more than the average white man, and she's still standing, still living, her smile holds the secrets of her past, and her eyes look past the surface to give everyone a chance. She is woman. She is black. She is beautiful and resilient. She's her own perfect. With the beautiful skin and soul she's got, she's her own protector. With the dark spots that protect her knees from her falls, and the tree bark colored eyes that pronounce the light shining from her soul. She's her own lover. With her lips that kiss her own hand every day, and her heart that heals her mind when broken, she's her own defender. With the will in her heart and the sight that she sees, she's her own perfect. Forever hers, forever her own, forever herself. Because now she understands she's her own perfect and no one else's. All right, so um, this next one and last one is the new one. And it's called White Plight Fight. Um, I wrote it in response to something that I heard in social studies class last Friday because um, we're starting our civil rights unit and we were listening to the 1619 podcast by the New York Times and um, one of the quotes that really stood out to me was that um, they had been made black by those who believed themselves to be white by Nicole Hannah Jones. And I just thought that to be really interesting, and we looked more into it, 
And it's like, it's crazy because we are all the same. Like we're all one. The only reason that we have these different like outer surfaces is because like we back, back way back, we all, we like separated and we moved to like different areas of the world and we adapted to whatever environment that we had, but we are all one and the same. And that, um, that quote just really spoke to me personally. So this is what I came up with for that. They had been made black by those who believed themselves to be white. White, plight, fight. I was and am what you are, a body filled with blood, bones, and water. Rivers of blue run through my veins and to my heart, which only ever cares to give. Um, I have a soul, sorry. I have a seal of rubber stretched over my hands, arms, legs, and toes. It's painted. Painted the colors from my ancestors' lands and oceans that flow fast and slow. Deep blues, purples, grays, browns, and blacks. The shades fill my face and cover my hands with a sense of a regal and royal pace, past. Soft, silky strings pour out of my pour like rain out of my head, framing, framing my shape in my face, brightening my eyes and lightening up my face. I was and I am what you are, a thing that walks on legs of two or four, three or one, but the enslaved still get none. Our backs ache with the weight of our chains, our history, our story, our glory, our glory bagged and sold to the rich, our glory pounded and ground into the ground like it's dirt, not the safe and oily soil that it is. I was and am what you are. I wear clothes cut from a cloth that only we can wear, a cloth made and threaded by the hands of our mother and our mother's mother and her mother before her and so on. We wear our cloth proudly. It's warm and keeps us safe, safe from the harm that you told us no longer existed, but when the N man with the black hair and the black eyes decided to sit at the black marble counter in a no blacks bar next to a white man with too dark of skin to be considered just barely tan, you had a cow. And not the cow with black spots because, oh Lord forbid, that any, everything and anything with the N or B word in it is false, untrue, dirty, gross, unfortunate, broken, hurt, enslaved. I was and am what you are. I am black, I am white, I am Irish, I am Spanish, I am alive. But why isn't he? Thank you. Let's hear it one more time for Nadia Frazier. Very powerful. Thank you much for sharing that. I want you to keep that same love and positive energy coming for the next artist to bless us. I have lived here in Burlington for now almost be 13 years uh, at the end of this month. Lucky number 13, we made it. Um, and I've had the good fortune to be able to connect to so many different amazing youth and see them blossom and grow into their expression and have profound impacts on community and continue to shine their light in amazing ways. And that definitely goes for this next person as well. I've known her and her family since literally day one in this community. She has been a light in this world and a force of nature, challenging uh, society to transform in dynamic ways. And I know she has a lot more to bring in the years to come. Don't stop clapping until she gets to the stage. Give it up for Zenavia Wilcox. Come on, bring her up, y'all. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So I got two pieces. This morning I woke up, found out it was St. Patrick's Day. Usually I remember, but I totally forgot. But I was able to go back and remember our history um, and the history of Jamaica and got to hear a couple words from some black Irish folk, which really sat with me. But basically I wrote this poem a while ago when I was coming back 
into town um, called Poet Body. And this is just kind of speaking about kind of the history that I learned of poets. And I actually found out that the Irish had their own poems as well that reflected into songs and hymns, which were very beautiful. Um, and those black Irish folk who were also exiled end up using the same hymns and songs and writings uh, to get them through their hard times as well. So it's really beautiful how music transcends people. So yeah. Took a trip back where I came from just to see who's still rooting or if maybe they've seen her. The grass fruited don't need green to see the bigger picture much greener. These roots cannot be uprooted, grounded, love founded. I said what I said in the city of the garden you can't sell out for the dead. God body, heaven tree. I don't need heavy arms or bodyguards to talk about artillery. We here. And if they knew a proper lineage, they see this shit is passed down. Generations. Heard the storm was coming, thunder just ain't the same. We lighten up the whole block, won't let these politicians claim fame. We moving forward and waiting for niggas to wake up. Ooh, he is the same. Now they touching toes, waiting to see if time's up. Made my mind up, we don't die, we multiply. Do the math. This is a God body, poet body, the future, present, and the past. Enough pain to write soldier on my epitaph. Never thought to slay demons, you need an empath. We coming for everything. Give me this, this, and that. Piece by piece. Can't you see? We the tools to, to success. To success. <laughs> we never lack. Back to back. Back to back to back to black to back. To black to black. Black and black. It's just a fact. And that's Poet Body. So I totally forgot the cursing. I'm so sorry, kids. I'm so sorry. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm just like, oh god. This one right here um, was modeled after my one of my favorite poems um, in my one of my favorite albums. Um, this is going to be in my book. Um, it's by Kendrick Lamar. It's called. Uh, it's like a little poem, but it goes, this dick ain't free. And it's basically a commentary on what it means to be a slave to society. Um, and it's very beautiful. If you haven't heard it, I would listen to it again after this, because it's really awesome. So, all right. We'll act like all of a sudden this dick ain't free. Like I ain't putting an early deposit. Regardless, this ain't expensive, this art. Relentless, I stuck to my grind like I had the time. Remember the days I was loveless and lonely? I held mine, I held mine like I ain't had enough to carry. But it was lightweight though. See, I was taught to puff up my chest and raise my shoulders because I ain't food for no vulture or crow. Culture comes with cadence. That don't need political correctness. My comeback quick, they ask who's next in. Charge, you a fool. Still pretending. See, most of these people needy but needing. A leader to follow. So scared of their shadow. How, though? The best reflection of you could turn out very powerful. Your destiny, your own. I know what I've been shown. I'm lion-hearted, seeking peace through Jah. Only Jah knows. We must come together, high tide or low. Trust, I move with straight pressure. There's nothing more to discuss. The blueprint, and they asking what's the plan? I didn't get this from my Uncle Sam. I ain't take no pledge. We know this rock steady, baby, like Aretha said. So in this poem, I'm a poet. <laughs> and in this round, we ain't dead. Creation with a steady drop coming straight for your head or bumping through your speaker because I'm going to be the last person y'all drove mad but the first to ever see her. Give it up one more time for Sister Zenavia. I'm gonna make sure I get my autograph copy. Somebody say, all right. All right. Say, keep shining. keep shining. Say, do your thing. Do your thing. That's right, that's right. We're gonna keep that same love and positive energy coming up for 
some other very special sisters who I've known for quite some time. One I've known since, uh, since they arrived here in the world, literally on their, on their first entrance into this globe, into this universe. Uh, they won the youth poetry competition last year, second place. The first time they ever performed, they had a standing ovation for a poem they wrote called Human over at Democracy Creative. The third time they performed, they was getting paid over at uh, City Hall Park, commissioned to write poems on Father's Day, and they just on a level in terms of their creativity, the amazing ways, the dynamic ways of showing up in community. I'm very inspired and excited to introduce you to them. Their names are Amina and Andrea, and they go by A+. So give it up and don't stop clapping until they get to the stage. Come on, bring up, bring them up, bring them up, bring them up. Love. Does this work? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Our skin is like a thorny rose, not perfect but still beautiful. For I am not just my skin, but radiant and beautiful within. Like a rose, it symbols love. With destiny on my side, there's nothing I lack. At first I thought it was just a tease, but now you have my attention. Black skin is the most beautiful art. Ble being black does not decide my heart, nor can it tear the world apart. You expect me to extol the ones who slayed the ones before me, the ones who took care of the land that's underneath your feet. We are on our incessant road to freedom, and you must remember it won't come to us. We must go to it. Get up. It's not time to sit. The sun hid behind the clouds, knowing it cannot shine as shite, <laughs> knowing it could not shine as bright as the rising magical moon. A dim light can only be seen in the darkest night. Melanin is gold, and blackness is right. <laughs> I'm afraid of. The ghostly venom of the night viper slowly seeps down the bright yellow shine of sunset, quick to cover the entire night sky. I look through my window as I wonder. My cage, like a bird, is open. Why do I not long to get out? My life is straight ahead. I hear my father's voice. Beautiful sun-kissed people. That's me. The window calls me, but my mind says otherwise. My curls, straight down my back, shiver as my heart PJs and me slowly make the descent from my bed to the window. I hop down the very short jump between me and the ground. The stars glow as ancestors beckon me to move forward. The forest is alive. I hear the chirp, chirp, chirping of a cricket. Something startles me from this quiet paradise. I look toward the grassy beyond. My heart is begging me to go for further. Always follow your heart. I slowly make my way into the grasslands. Wow, I exclaim. A beautiful range of wild animals are spread across the plains like in a painting. I am fearless. <laughs> City. My dear home Africa, every moment I work in these fields, Picking cotton and wheat, I think of the dry green land, not a speck of snow. Here in the city, no morals, no family, being treated like an animal, cries and separation, hate and segregation, murders over who sits where. I sit in peace, in love, in this place. I wonder why they brought me here, to torture and harass, to kill and to beat, to show me sad. This one doesn't have a name yet, but I'm just going to. This place is not my utopia. Though wind and zephyrs a gentle breeze bring change upon the restless seas, this place is not my home. I believe that somewhere there is a better place. If beauty is what I seek, time will show no answer. I have many moods. Today I'm careful, but I will not be scared to speak out and speak up. I don't just have one place where I can be me. 
Masks only protect us from catching something. Even with them on, we will still be us, ourselves, the people who were first. Before the robin, we were restless as the green-blue oceans, though we didn't wake up to get the worm. We are already at our highest heights. What is beyond this? Love, quick and rippled like a skipped pebble, my heart sank down with it to a body of water no smaller than a bathtub. The perfect temperature as I wade in the warm water hugs me close like a mother to a child. I am up to my arms now. I take the longest blade of grass and slowly unearth it. With each arm out, I hula hoop twice with it, then throw it into the gaping mouth where the water meets the sea. Like raindrops down a car window, quick and agile, I challenge the moon to a race back home. Again, my imagination, like a pen on paper, never running out of ink. One word written down, make some. Smack, down the golden sea of memories, the time on my pocket watch is still correct. I imagine myself back, the smell of something cooking. I see the parade of hungry children following close behind. Far away in the graveyard, ancestors stir, peering out behind their garnished graves, trying to find where the smell is coming from. As food is served, attitudes change swiftly like a chameleon when the smell of fresh made everything touches their noses. Excitement as bold as a rocket pack embraces them as food touches the lips. As hours speed by, the beds quickly fill as tired children lay down to rest, a metaphor sent from where freedom was. This life is proof. We are the makers of memories. Woman, my voice is loud. I am woman and proud. Queens, seize your crown. You're a warrior. Your words are your weapon. Be strong, sisters. You can protect yourself. Like Rosa, fight. And Ida, do what's right. Like Ella, raise your voice. Your mind and your choice. Like Mahalia, fly. And Maya, do how you want to be done by. <laughs> This one's called Gazelles and Lions. Why? It was already fine before you did your stuff. Go away. <laughs> you know when you see a cloudy sky and instead of thinking about how dark it is, all you can think about is the beauty? Like when you take a walk in the woods and you run past a spider web, you stop in your tracks and are amazed about how all the intricate, unique little details fit together like the matching pieces of your favorite puzzle. Television gives no comparison to nature. Stop, skip a rock and watch the gleaming water ripple as the moon sparkles and shines down on it. It will make you smile if you lay down on the soft grass and watch the trees transform into beautiful ranges of color as seasons go by quickly, as swift as the fastest gazelle in all of the flatland plains easily gliding across the soft, bright green grass as other animals watch in the distance. Surprised by your courage, the leader of the lion pack started the hunt, and as if you read minds, you ran into the shadows of the forest beyond. But you felt a sudden sadness remembering you had done this before. It always feels like the first time when you run away from your fears. But now, you decide that enough is enough. You gallop on your own clouds of dust and show that you're finished with this rule that lions had to hunt gazelles. Maybe they are too. Freedom train. I'm positively modest and I'm unforgettably honest and my words you have to digest always wearing MJ's bad vest, I digress. Saving lives with family ties, slaving lives with candied lies, untried tries and cool dark knives, unfriendly skies and unwanted sighs, God like a tire that made those brown black hands tire. We're all kings and queens, don't forget, just call me sire. Songs that aspire, inspire us to be fly hires and then more. Sashay down that runway. We got no time for some replay delays. 
always talking about freedom when we're already here. You need to make your own weapons. Come on, sharpen your spear. You caress my inner being. Black, brown power is what you're seeing. I'm better as a door than a window, because then you can explore what we've been through. In first sight of delightful night, we feel slight fright when the light alights, despite the invite to be uprightly right. Many times we have fallen, and we've forgotten about cotton. We'll all have our happy ending, because I know we have sought one. Martin Maya, Rosa Parks, historical people who made their marks. Harriet Tubman on the underground road, as black and beautiful broke the mold. You are here to decide your fate. Don't let those slave owners put you at a low rate. Respect your heritage no matter the cost. Don't listen to them when they tell you, get, get lost. lost. Come on, make some noise one time for A plus. Where you at? Beautiful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's keep that same love and positive energy coming up for the next artist. She uh she don't like when I do this, but I'm going to do it because uh, she deserve it. Uh, I want you to start in the bottom of your heart some recognition for the super metaphysician, intergalactical, fantastically compatible, uh, glorious, numinous, superhumanist, bring it birth and life from the womb in this. You know what I'm saying? Bless the world with three new babies from the uterus. Uh, give it up for Omega J. There's no stop clapping as she gets to the stage. Oh my God, shout out to everybody that is here. Yes. Poetry, yes, say community, yes, say poetry, bruh, don't, don't start. So uh, trigger warning, I be cussing, so uh, I just want to put that out there. Um, got a few repeaters, but this new one has been sitting on my heart that I'm about to release a full track on. And it is called Defend Yourself. I'll share the hook in my verse because it does feature Rajni. Go ahead, look at him. Yep, Rajni, yes. Yes, okay, yes, all right. So it goes a little like this. Hmm. Everybody has a right to defend themselves. Anyone who thinks different should check themselves. Send police after my son on some weaponized shit, so I'm coming to you now as mom and activist. I always taught my son it was his God-given right, the right to defend himself in case he was caught in a fight. Exact words would be defend yourself enough to make it home. You never know what you'll face walking home alone. Like this one time, these two bullies followed him down the street. They was only walking home in order to meet with me. These bullies couldn't let my son be black and be free. Had to fuck around and find out. That's divine to me. Don't start no shit and won't be no shit. And that's another thing I taught to everyone one of my kids, the other parents had to lie, act like he had weapons, call in the police with made up accusations. See, here's the problem, white lies cause black death. A better option, acknowledge your fault in this instead. We both tried to leave y'all the fuck alone, now y'all wanna play victim, bring in police into my home. Everybody has a right to defend themselves. Anyone who thinks different should check themselves. Send police after my son on some weaponized shit, so I'm coming to you now as mom and act activist anybody has a right to defend themselves anyone who thinks different should check themselves send police after my son on some weaponized shit so i'm coming to you now as mom and activist huh thank you thank you so it's International Women's 
Women's Month, and I'm a woman, I'm a mommy, I'm a fem C. And so because of that, I have to do my favorite verse, which is probably some of your favorites. If it's not, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> it is, it's on my, actually, it's on my Yin and Yang album, and it is called Plight of the Femsey. And it goes like, ain't no level playing field when you come with a uterus, maiden mother, and crone. What the fuck did you do to us? Odds stacked against us, somehow make it to the top. But phallus holding suckers want to put that to a stop. Big labels ain't trying to hear you unless you're speaking on your... Sorry to disappoint, but that's only for my boosie. Ain't no disrespect to those who are completely the opposite. My body is my temple, so I constantly honor it. Either damn way, we are more than our body for real. My mind makes the dreams that my body fulfills. Creatively, I design scrolls fit for a wordsmith. On stage with the mic, hear the words that I will spit. Nobody's gyrating, just my story penetrating the... Uh, the minds of those open to the message I'm spreading. Hip hop's supposed to be about community building. Whether man or a woman, they contribute while willing. Thank you. Let's see. I am going to do the next two will be a favorite, so I'll leave that for last. But this one, I guess after what happened with my son recently, this one has been repeating itself in my mind because what if it led to that? It's called, in the case of Dante Wright, I got questions. In the case of Dante Wright, I got questions. To the officer who called herself training another, I've got questions. Is a taser yellow or black? Please, I have more questions. Is, if she resigns, does it mean that she's guilty? Oh, there are more questions. Does having an outstanding warrant mean he's deserving of death? These accidental killings happen too often. I'm losing my breath. Why do you act surprised whenever we protest? Will having a conversation give me the answers to these questions? I'm tired of reading the news just to learn a repeated lesson. The police still consider black people three-fifths of a human. What other reason is there for them to resort to shooting? Warning my son before going to school to comply so he will return. The need to have this conversation makes my whole soul hurt. But this is the reality of my blackness. So allow me this time to ask this. How long does it take to know the difference between a Glock and a Taser? That's that one. Thank you. Last one is just an ode to me and Black Artist Showcase, and I call it Black Loyalty. Yes, and it goes like this. <clears throat> okay. Loyalty is the currency of the black community. From the fierce mother to the supportive aunts, from big brothers of little sisters that get to experience a prom. Boundaries are set and respected without question. Anything opposite, the betrayal is seen as a lesson. Loyalty is honored in the black community. Black artists coming together, supporting each other in business, putting each other on if good showmanship is witnessed, being one another's reference for future endeavors, ultimately helping us all get that cheddar. Loyalty is the lifeblood of the black community because we know how it feels to have our boundaries crossed with families separated by courts, death, and loss. It was taught in the household from a very young age by the fierce black mom figure showing allegiance in loving ways. We knew not to overstep. To do that was disrespect. As a result, it rubbed off onto the siblings, protecting the tribe from outsiders and building. We knew that no one could break our bond, no matter what time zone we're on. 
We may even have our fight sometimes, but I'll forget that fight if they need me anytime. Their enemy is my enemy. Their friend is my friend. Their loss is my loss. Their win is my win. I am grateful for that loyalty in the black community. It's a piece of black excellence to me. Thank you. Shout out to Rajni and the uh, Main Street Landing and Black Artist Showcase. Get your phone over here. Give it up one more time for Omega Jade. That's right, that's right, that's right. Somebody say power. power. Say beauty. beauty. Say community. community. That's right, that's right. I'm gonna share. Let's just give a round of applause for all the artists we heard tonight because I think it's important to recognize. We are truly blessed. I want to share a couple pieces with you before I close out, but I just want you all to think deeply about what you're witnessing tonight because there's so much um, vitality and necessity to appreciate the meaning, you know, the, the purpose, the beauty and the brilliance that's present here in this community and how it's so important that we nurture and honor and affirm. So definitely speak life and light upon it and thankful that you all are here to witness together. Uh, this next piece I want to share with you is a poem I always like to start with that's actually uh, an ode to peace written by my mother called I Like There To Be War Where Nobody Came. So it's a call and response piece. So when you know your part, please sing along. It goes like this. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. Where the gunners didn't show and the flyers didn't flow, like a river carrying death to those below. Where artillery moved too slow, missed the boat and the whole dang show. And we all refused to go, I said, we all refused to go. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. Where the infantry said no, in crisp tones that taste of snow. And the bombers stated clear, they won't go in any year. And sharpshooters closed their eyes, much to the brass great surprise. And there was peace with no reprise. We chose the peace with no reprise. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. Where we first would check ourselves, see what our causes do foretell. Tweak, where tweaking would do well, then maybe check ourselves again. Remembering some crazy macho win does not signify a win, cannot signify a win. So I'll say it once again, I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. I'd like there to be a war where nobody came. We'd like there to be a war where Wouldn't you? All right, give it up for yourselves. Beautiful. All right, all right. Amina, can you pass me one of those uh, uh, those books on top of that table back there? Grab me the one that says, "Their names are mine," and the one that says, "In a coded language of this mortal tongue." Or just in the coded language, that's cool too. Also, Rajni Eddie. Thank you. Let's see, on this, it has some of her ancestors on here, so it's important we bring it to the space. I want to share uh, 
a piece with you called In Our Wake. So I think it's necessary to share something uh, that speaks to us and our resiliency as human beings um, and the vital value that we play in each other's lives. So this is a piece that was shared right before, uh, just right as we were entering the pandemic. Y'all remember that? Yeah, so this came from um, just speaking to what it feels like to be in this world now and what possibilities there still are. In our wake, inside these hands, a golden chance. Within these walls, a castle falls where all the peasants dance. Where does one turn in a house of mirrors? If everywhere you look, there you are. If silence becomes too loud to hear over the bird songs. When touch seems a distant stranger, fuzzy and still wet with hazy memory. No one said anything about the masks we'd wear over the masks we wore before. And yet the sun still shines through gloom and flowers dare to bloom. I saw a patch of onion, a robin thrusting its chest out, eyed me suspiciously, as if to say, what are you doing here? It appears we are still here. Maybe we can outlive and outgrow our shadows. Maybe life will look us square in the eyeball and not notice our flinching imperceptibly, or see it and still forgive us our immortal mortalities. Maybe today will be the day the walls part like seas and the ceilings raise and the light has its way with us. Maybe the rain will merge with the sweat born of our contained lives and become indistinguishable. Maybe we'll take ourselves out of ourselves, cast away the plastic packaging and see something more alive, something more fun to play with than fear and shallow mirrors. Maybe we can be friendly to ourselves even when the world is not watching, when the ceaseless eye of Babylon has gone to sleep or long died, we can be here, creating, musing, imagining, envisioning life as it could and can be, and leave what it was and is in our wake. share this piece to honor my folks. This is a, a class that we always like to close with because it speaks to the dignity and the beauty and the brilliance and the value and the meaning and the purpose and the glory of our people, past, present, and future. It's called Beautiful Sun-Kissed People. Say, Beautiful Sun-Kissed People. Beautiful Sun-Kissed People. Walking miracles, unfolding parables, ancient scrolls and ocean's throws. Love be a rose adorning your ears. This morning will not bring mourning nor a thorn in tears. This forever moment is sure of fears. Say beautiful sun-kissed people. Beautiful sun-kissed people. We are on the cusp of overthrowing overseers. Light years beyond heckles and jeers. No more tanning our hides where Dr. Jekyll steers. This love is sheer, transparent and near. As dear as your closest relative here. Say beautiful sun-kissed people. No conversation on us being equal, just entertaining the thought is evil. We weave full, fully woven, lost and found, traded and stolen, but look what the eye beholding. Say beautiful sun-kissed people. Sun Golden, black and free and ebony, mahogany and mocha bee, chocolate hog and dogs can't see. Rivers running melanin, shallow men be monitoring, but most high got all intents and purposes and sovereign skin. Watch as this poem ascends, journeying and frolicking. Summer breezes talking with the autumn wind, how winter just won't break our stride. Too much spring and step for us to hide. Our victory is justified. Say, beautiful sun-kissed people. Beautiful sun-kissed people. Soul arrives with older ties. Our currency ain't tokenized. We close to those focused and wise whose feet arise on open skies. We white supremacy eulogizing. 
Blessed ministry, New Horizon, and desperate attempts at euphemizing our brilliance with futile lies still will never neutralize. Too many youth been euthanized. Fed sweet as prey to tooth decay, but truthfully our rootful way has truth to say. Adorns the nights to loose the day. In beauty let the stars obey. Say beautiful sun kiss people. I relate to you so musically, and oh, the joy it brings, like. Lift every voice and sing, till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise. High as the listening skies, let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a Facing the rising of a new day. Let earth and heaven ring in sacred oath. Cause after all we are betrothed to wondrous wonders of untold. Great grand good fortune that broke the mold. Can't buy us off with moldy bread. We've more than crumbs inside our heads. And crust just will not satisfy when banquets alone are ours divine. We walk in gourmet grandma made. Deliciousness in every shade. Say sun kiss people. people. Say beautiful, blessed, bountiful, sun kiss people. Okay. <laughs> I praise the path that plants our flag, squarely in earth a self-made basking, a glorious newfound approach that predators cannot encroach, that parasites and wayward folks at a mere glimpse will cough and choke. See, this radiance is brighter still than every sun that lights a hill. It calls from something deep within and pours from vocal cords and pen. Say, beautiful sun, kiss people. I'm nourished just to see you. You furnish my living room with life abundant killing gloom. You water every plant I have and flourish my gardens green and vast. Sing lullabies to my inner child and soothe all fears of foul defile. You spray me with your sense of grace and lovingly embrace my face. Say, I am you and we are race that founded every human trace. Say, sun kiss people. people. I wake with your poems on my tongue. In my chest, I hear your drum. From my lips, I hear your hum. It gets me high and drunk as rum. On you, I am forever spun. Your melanin, I'll never shun. With you, I am forever one. Has there been better? Never one. Say, sun kiss people. people. I bequeath these odes to you. Your next of kin and children too, and their children's 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 view will yet still match your vibrant hue. You supernatural sorcery to walk in temples gorgeously, shaming cathedrals far and near, make a white Christ pale in the mirror. <laughs> Sun kissed children, you are it. Don't let nobody tell you shh. unless they fertilize in soil. <laughs> to grow a rose regal and royal, to don a rose upon a rose of red and black and green and gold, so poetically bestowed it dignifies your inner throne. Sun-kissed children, marvelous, miraculous magnificence, outlandishly so unabashed, unapologetic sass, ultra-magnetic blackness, the right goddess on your epitaph. That's blasphemy, surely, right? Because we know true gods never die. Sun-kissed children, you kiss my eyes with all that sunshine you applying. I say I am in love for true, because you are me and I am you. 
from head to toe and all between. I love these princes, kings and queens. I even find you in my dreams. And when I wake, I vow to breathe and breathe to vow with every vowel and consonant I can't pronounce. Announce the cosmos all your feats. Build castles for your sweet retreats. Goose feathered pillows, black satin sheets. A sacred lounge to rest your crown for more than wounds been crying. Sun-kissed people have no doubt. You're all I am, what I'm about. Can't tell my story without your page. Hell, every chapter be erased. You sew my lines so seamlessly. We vibe on higher frequency. So let's not love in secrecy. My son kiss people, we be is the key. Hey, can I have all the artists come front row, come front and center? We're going to stand up. I want you all to give a standing round of applause for all these artists who blessed us this evening. Come on down, y'all.